going on YouTube? It's uh, Knife Making Wednesday, and uh, today we're going to be making a knife from scratch. Uh, what we've got here today is my uh, a, a blank of steel here. It's about a quarter of an inch thick, about one inch wide, and about about nine inches long. I've got drawn my uh, with a sharpie on here my pattern that I'm going to grind out for my knife. Kind of crudely, it's it, it's going to it's going to be a work in progress, you know. And uh, where I'm going to drill my holes for my little rivets, and we're going to put a wood handle on it, glue it all together, sharpen it up. We're going to fire it in the fire, temper it, you know, dump it in some water, make it hard, and uh, we should have a knife when we get done. Okay, I've decided to begin with. I'm going to take the hacksaw, saw off the major portions of the, the block here. Uh, you know, hacksaws are really cheap, and uh, grinding wheels aren't. So I'm going to try and save my grinding wheel as much as possible. And this steel is pretty soft. It hasn't been tempered or anything yet, so it's really soft, so it's going pretty easy. Alright, there it is. Uh, saw down a little more to what we're working for here. That's going on to the grinder. Grinder. It's not even sharpened yet. It's not even hardened yet. It's looking more like a knife. Okay, there it is. Gonna light a fire up. Get it in there, get it red hot, dunk it in some water, temper it, and get it nice and hard here. Alrighty, I think the fire should be good and hot now. Hopefully it is. I've got the fan on it here, giving it some air. It's like a electronic billows here, you know. Uh, I'm going to throw it in there, let it sit there for a while, see if it gets nice and red hot. Hopefully it will. And i uh, got my 5-gallon uh, bucket over here filled with water to dunk it. Christ, it's hot! Jeez, okay, it's in there. Right there. In there nice and deep. Pushed out a bunch of logs and stuff around them. And the knife. And leave it there for a few minutes. See what happens. It's supposed to get nice and glowy red. It's sleeting outside. 40 degrees and it's sleeting. Okay, I'm gonna reach in, grab it. Reach in, got it now. Nice and red. Look at that, look at that. That is beautiful. Into the water we go, straight vertically. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm gonna leave that in there for a while. Alright, so that was take one. It's a little dirty. Uh, we'll put it back in there and uh, get it to about a straw color and then dunk it again. Back in the fire. Okay, it's pretty red again, but uh, you know, what can you do? Let's go for take two. Yes. Alright, there's take two. Hopefully, that is a hard knife now. I'm going to clean it up. Put some wood on it. I find it amazing. I had all that wood, two, three inch logs, you know, and this is all I'm left with. There's a little pile of coals. That's amazing. Just dropped my camera. Oh, there's some bad gashes in it.
trying to decide now what kind of wood I want to go on the handle. Kind of a cherry, kind of a, uh, a different kind of cherry, some sort of a apple type tree, something, something yellow, nice yellow wood. Here I've got walnut. I've already got one out of walnut. Um, whatever this is, red gum, cedar. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about it. Mixing up some JB Weld. Okay, I spread my glue on the wood. I put my wood on there. I used I used ro uh, roofing nails. I cut the heads off of them. They're pretty smooth and they make nice little uh, nice little rods, you know. So I'm gonna shape this up now on my bandsaw and my sander and get it get it better looking here. All right, here's the finished product. It come out to be uh, eight and a half inches long with a three and a half inch blade. I chose the uh, the dark cherry wood as the handle. I think it come out pretty, pretty pretty. 